Hey Scorpio, welcome to your monthly reading for the month of April. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. I am a tarot and oracle reader as well as a root worker and I do monthly, mid-monthly, and occasional pick a cards here on YouTube. So with all that said, let's jump into your reading. I'm going to start off with the tea leaf oracle deck to see what situations, energies, people may be popping up for you in the month of April. All right, Spirit, what do you got for my Scorpios? We have the firecracker excitement. All right, well, this is good. I'm excited about that. Um, let's go ahead and dive into the tarot. I'm using the tarot of the divine this month. Spirit, can we please clarify this firecracker for my Scorpios for the month of April? What kind of excitement can my Scorpios expect for the month of April? Okay, we have the death card in reverse, the moon, the three of cups, the two of wands reversed, and the world card. Interesting. All right, let's take a look. Take a look at where Scorpio, Pisces, Aquarius, oh no, not Aquarius, I'm sorry, Capricorn, sit in your astrological natal chart. That can kind of help point you in the direction of where this excitement may be happening. Scorpio, this is a really interesting reading. <laughs> I have been saying that a lot in these April readings. Um, I'm picking up on some, some beautiful opportunities. There's maybe some opportunities for travel here, to mingle and meet with new people, to get together with friends, to celebrate, um, to network. And um, a lot of mystery as well here with the moon card. Usually when I see the moon card, I think of like, oh, there's something hidden, there's a secret here, but I think this is just your energy. This could potentially be your energy or it could just be the energy of the month in general. April is going to feel very mysterious, much like how people view you, Scorpio. You guys are very mysterious people and people may be kind of viewing you um, as such this month and it may be exciting and inviting to people they want to get to know you they want to figure out who scorpio is so you may be getting invited out to a lot of get-togethers or parties um, people that just want to spend time with you get to know you um, it could be just very magnetic i'm getting you know divine feminine uh sexiness okay you don't have to be a woman to have divine feminine energy but I do feel like there is an attraction to you guys, or there is an attraction to the more mysterious sides of life for you guys this month. Um, it's very, very exciting. Uh, the card definitely says it all. I definitely feel like this is a month of exploration for you guys. The Two of Wands reversed and the Death card in reverse is very interesting to me. Um, I don't typically like to see those cards in the reverse, so I'm trying to figure out how they tie into this excitement because usually when the death card is here in the reverse, there's like a resistance to change, something needs to be let go of and die, and the two of wands reverse tells me that there's no like forward movement, there's no planning going on. So I don't know what this is, I don't know if this is like taking a break from like your day-to-day -day planning and moving you know, hustle and bustle in terms of like career or life in general, it feels like maybe you guys are getting a little bit of a break from that and you're kind of opening, expanding your horizons a little bit before you decide to move forward because the world card can also talk about moving forward in a lot of ways and closing out a chapter. So maybe there is something that you need to learn here or experience in order for you to learn how to let something go and learn how to move forward. You guys may be kind of this in this in-between stage here in a weird limbo. I wanna go ahead and start clarifying. I definitely wanna take a look at the world card and I definitely wanna take a look at the moon card. Those two cards are calling uh, to me the most. So let's start with the world card spirit. Can we please clarify the world card for my Scorpios? What is this world card energy here doing for my Scorpios? What is this world card energy? 
Okay, we have the Hermit, Four of Coins reversed, the Star reversed, and the Queen of Cups reversed. Interesting. Take a look at where Virgo and Aquarius sit in your chart. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be getting a lot more attention this month. Um, for some of you, this may be internet attention. Maybe you guys are influencers or you do things on the internet. Um, but I feel like Spirit is trying to tell you, like, this is your month to shine. This isn't the time to hide yourself anymore. With the Four of Coins reversed, it's like you guys may be learning how to get over the fear of having eyes on you and like always hiding and being out and being in hermit mode. You may be coming out of this hermit mode. Or people just may see you as very mysterious. Because <laughs> again, we have the hermit, we have the moon. The hermit is someone who spends time alone. They're very wise. I mean, they're very um, intelligent people. They have a lot of knowledge and people may kind of be picking up on them. They're like, who is that mysterious figure over there with, <laughs> with the brooding look on their face? They, I feel like they have a lot to teach me. Or they have a lot to say and they just don't say it. That is very Scorpio energy. I mean, 100%. I'm a Scorpio as well, so uh, this is... <laughs> I'm laughing. <laughs> um, yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. It feels like maybe some of you guys have had like a fear, like a really deep fear of like exposing yourself, being open with other people about who you are, um, exposing your your potential, your skills, your knowledge. And the star card in reverse, again, it's like you guys trying to avoid that spotlight. Feels like the world is calling to you. Come out of your shell, Scorpio. We want to get to know you. And Scorpio's like, no, I don't, uh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but I feel like you may not have really much of a choice in that this month, Scorpio's. Uh, all right do we want to take a look at the moon card or do we want to take a look at the death card in reverse mm, can we do both spirit can we do both do they tie together somehow i feel like the death card in reverse kind of talks about that fear of being out in the forefront and having people see you, being open with people, um, especially like a large public with the Three of Cups here. Um, and the Moon card, I think it just definitely talks about like that wanting to be more reserved, of wanting to keep that mystery alive, of not really wanting to let people in. So I am kind of curious to look at this Two of Wands in reverse and see how we can turn that around for you. Spirit, can we please clarify this Two of Wands in Reverse for my Scorpios? Can we clarify what this Two of Wands in Reverse is? How we can turn it around? Can we clarify this Two of Wands in Reverse for my Scorpios? Three of Wands, yep, yeah, definitely talks about moving forward. Nine of Swords, Eight of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups. Interesting. It feels like everything you want is on the other side of your fear. Everything you want, this Ten of Cups, is on the other side of this Nine of Swords. And the Three of Wands is like, if you want it, you have to go get it. You have to get past whatever this fear is. I feel like an opportunity is coming back around to you with this Eight of Cups. Um, it's coming back around and if you want it, you have to meet it there. You have to meet it halfway. You have to go and get it. You got to put yourself out there. Okay? Whatever it is, it's something you've wanted for a long time. So you got to put yourself out there. You got to step outside your comfort zone. Um, you can't really hide and shy away from things if what you want is requiring you to be more open. I hope that makes sense. I know it's going to be different things for everybody, but I mean the idea of just being a little bit more open to sharing yourself with people or public um, is going to get you exactly what you want. And I think you guys can handle it. I think you guys are just more afraid 
it's like a it's like an invalid fear does that make sense whatever you're afraid of i don't feel like that is something that's going to necessarily be true and even if it is something that is true in this instance it's not going to be something you can't handle i think a lot of you feel like you guys won't be able to handle it oh boy all right scorpios let me know what this is because i'm rooting for all my scorpios this month Let's go ahead and move on to the oracle decks of the reading, though. We're going to start off with the Moonology Manifestation Oracle. Spirit, what messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios for the month of April? What messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios for the month of April? We have first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. Okay. So I feel like that's a recognize the fear, recognize, you know, the hangups, the, uh, you know, maybe there's things that happened in the past that have made you afraid of going after whatever this is. I feel like spirit wants you to honor those feelings, to recognize those feelings, but not let them hold you back. <laughs> yes. And at the bottom of the deck, you got the full moon and cancer, let your fears dissolve. Yeah. Honor the feeling, honor the fear. Recognize that it is there, but let it go. Let it go, Elsa, let it go. All right, let's move on to the next deck, which is going to be the Green Witch Oracle. Spirit, what additional advice, messages, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios for the month of April? What additional advice, encouragement, or messages do you have for my Scorpios for the month of April? We have the potato grounding. Okay, some of you guys just may need to practice more grounding techniques this month to make sure that you're not completely swept up in the excitement. Um, for some of you, you guys may need to do that retreat thing every now and then, just take time to like recover because I know my Scorpios, um, you guys definitely don't like to be in too many people's energies for too long. So definitely take that time to retreat and reground yourself, recenter yourself if you need to. At the bottom of the deck, we got lettuce, and it says desire. Everything you desire is on the other side of your fear, Scorpio. Okay. Um, let's move on to messages from your animal spirit guides. Spirit, what additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios for the month of April? What additional advice, messages, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios? for the month of April. <laughs> we have the shark. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. All right. Again, I feel like that's the discerning the truth out of your own fears. Like what, what is really the worst that could happen, Scorpio? Are you just giving yourself potential situations that haven't even happened yet? Are you talking yourselves out of it before it's even happened? Something to think about. At the bottom of the deck, you got the dog. Your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. Interesting. So again, it feels like you are too loyal to your fear. Too loyal to your fear. And you can't achieve what it is that you want to achieve if you're too latched on to your fear. Right? All right. Let's take a look at the final deck of the reading, which is going to be the Daily Crystal Inspiration deck. Yes, this is for final messages, but this is an, also an opportunity for those of you who like working with crystals. Um, what crystals may be helpful to you this month? So Spirit, what final messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios for the month of April? What final messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios for the month of April? Okay, we got a couple extra. The first one is turquoise, prioritize your health. Okay, so do keep your health in mind, that's important. We also have aquamarine, go with the flow. Yes, put yourselves out there, don't be afraid to put yourselves out there. We also have pyrite, let the money flow in. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, some big opportunities out there for you, but you gotta go get them. And at the bottom of the deck, we got angelite support is all around you yeah i feel like your team has your back your spiritual team that is they have your back so i think again this is just 
Are you going to step outside of your comfort zone? Are you going to step outside of your fears? Or are you going to continue to let them hold you back from what it is that you absolutely want? All right, Scorpios, that is what I'm seeing for you guys. Please leave a like and a comment if this resonated and you enjoyed this reading. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. I also do personal readings, so if you want to link up with me, my website is below in the description box. Um, and if you want to see more content from me, I am on Patreon, Instagram, and TikTok, and that info is below as well. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful month of April, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.